This podcast is brought to you by Dragon Shield. Check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. Welcome back to another Play to Win podcast, where we talk about winning in CEDH. I'm Cam. I'm Dylan. And this week, we're going to play a game, actually. It's uh, going to not really be me versus Dylan. It's <laughs> it's not really anyone versus anybody. It's, it's like a game show, except I'm the only contestant. Exactly. There's a lot of game shows that are like that. Are there? Yeah. Name one. Um, on the spot. Uh, a game show with one person with one on it. one contestant. Uh, <laughs> I Who was, wants to be a millionaire? Thank you. Thanks, Te- Rachel. Technically, there are other people that are sitting around that They're can waiting answer. For you to and fail. They have the opportunity to be the next person up if they get the trivia answer right. But it's really it's a competition. But when it's Regis person. Philbin, Philbin is he alive? Did Regis? Ooh, I don't know. Can you ask that on a podcast? Hey Siri, <laughs> is Regis? If he is, he's an old guy now. You know, when you type in is Regis, the first thing that comes up is, is he still alive? Is he alive? still alive? What yeah, do we he, got? Drama, he, please. He dried, died three years ago. Uh, yeah. Rest yeah. in peace. Rest in peace, Regis Philbin. This podcast is dedicated to you. <laughs> so today, our game is who plays this niche card? I'm using the word niche in place of the word bad. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these cards are just like bad cards that you see in decks, but like the commander is what makes it good. Honestly, to me, that's one of like the treasures of commander is like there for every card, there is probably some commander that can make that card at least playable. Exactly. So we have 15 cards here. I'm going to say one of the card names. I'll read you the card so that you know what it does to kind of give you an idea as to what sort of deck it could be and it's your job to give me the commander that this card sees play in okay i got this and then off to the sides here is tyler waiting for me to fail as soon as i do yes exactly we have him in a soundproof booth (laughs) and we're (laughs) cut to him in like a torture chamber screaming (laughs) (laughs) that'd be funny his like eyes like pride open (laughs) he's like Uh, All right, do you want an easy one to start off with, or do you want to just go right into the deep end here? Uh, Surprise me. Give whatever you think is best. Okay. Maybe easy, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I'll start off with an easy one. I'll tell you what. Yeah, start an easy one. I'll get the easiest one out of the way. Give it to me. Let's see if I know anything about CDH. The card name is Muckdrub. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Uh-oh. Luckily, this is not the do you know what this card does yeah, podcast. Yeah, right, because right now, immediately no. Immediately no. I do not know what Muck Drub does. So this is three and two black for a 3-3 three, three creature beast with flash. Three and two black for a creature beast with flash. Yes. How, okay. 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, change the target of target spell that targets only a single creature to Muck Drub. So it's kind of got like a deflecting swat ability on it. For when it ETBs. What? Okay. Yeah, Does it right? do something else? But like it has to like direct it to itself. And then it has madness for two and a black. Ah. <laughs> hey, 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 baby. Anya, let's go. Oh, all right. You did get the first one. Anya Falcon Wrath, right? Is Anya, it Anya, Anya? Um, you know, I can't remember. It's the a name? three mana Anya that plays sees play in CDH. I think it's just Anya Falcon Wrath. You are absolutely correct. Yes, nice. this is an Anya Falcon Wrath card. Now, this is not a deck that sees a ton of play anymore, but Anya Falcon Wrath is 66% cards with madness on it, which is exactly how I knew you would take that I, one. I save every madness card that I can because they're all CDH playable because of Anya. It doesn't matter what it is. If it has madness, it's CDH playable because Anya can play it. Exactly. That's kind of why I loved it on this. There were literally like 30 other cards I could have picked that yeah, I feel like so would have the I same was like, effect. What the fuck? Like, why would any CDH play this five mana creature? I don't understand. But Anya loves it. Anya absolutely loves it. Yeah. So okay. you're not going to see Muck Drub as much as you used to because Muck Anya certainly has okay. fallen off. It's but- a fun name though. Just Muck Drub. Muck drub. And a super relevant ability, too. Like, Mad- I'm madness. actually impressed. <laughs> I mean the deflecting swat ability. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How much is the madness cost? What's the madness? It's two and a black. Two and a black. So it's still three mana. It's still three. Like a okay. deflecting swat. Yeah, like, yeah, but. That's not why that card's that's good. That's not why that card's good. <laughs> it's good because it's zero mana. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All okay. right. All so, right. So one for one. You're I'm good. one for one so far. Sorry, I'm going to need loud. you to keep track of your score because that's just too much for me to handle. I wrote right. down the number one. All right. I'll tell you what. Let's start. Let's let's stay with some of the easier ones for right now. Excellent. Um, and then I'm going to say that now and then I'm going to go in some kind of an order throughout right, here. Right. I'm gonna yeah, get now I feel up. like I have yeah. to get this one right if it's an easy one. All right. So this is Wing Crafter. Wing Crafter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know what this one does. It has soul bound and gives flying 
No, that's not Winecraft. That's not that's, Winecraft. That's one hundred percent what it? Ringcrafter does. Okay, it's, yeah, it's, it's for a blue, blue. It's creature, a one. Man, yeah, a human wizard. That's a one one with soul bond, and when it's paired with another creature, both creatures half lion. So this Tim creature, Nadea, I think it's Tim and the other creature. I think it's it's a Tim the deck, and I'm pretty sure it's Tim the because I remember thinking that card's too weak for a four color good pile deck, but I'm not sure. Let me think. Okay, yeah. Is that your it's, final I know, answer? I know for a fact it's a. Oh fuck! No, it's Yuriko. It's Yuriko. Is that your final answer? It, I, I know. I, I, I have seen it in a Thrasios Tim list, but I think you got it from Yuriko. So I'm, my answer is Yuriko. I want to know what fucking Thrasios Tim the list you saw that's playing Wing Crafter. Yeah. If you're in four colors and you <laughs> have I, nothing better to do. That's what I remember thinking. I'm like, there's got to be a better thing than Was this a budget Wing list? Like, no, I think it was just like, it was like trying to just like use Timna better. I don't know. I, I, I know for a fact that I saw it, but maybe it was just like in some random list or something. I could have sworn it was database. Now I kind of want to double check. Can I double check real quick? Pause. I think I think sometimes database lists get on the database, and then the people that run the list go, <laughs> "Well, I'm already on the database," and yeah. then they put Sneaky like these change. fucking weird, shitty cards in their list all of a sudden. Yeah, that's the only like kind of issue with Moxfield is it makes it so cool to have a list with a lot of likes and a lot of views, but then if you change your list all the time, in my opinion, that's the new list Are every time you change it. Are there any sites that don't do that? I'm pretty uh, sure that every I, single site. I, I remember just... when I first saw Moxfield that had a views for your deck list. That was the first time I had noticed that on a deck building site. Maybe oh, they existed before and I just didn't know. Tapped Out had views. Has had you that for a while? Do, yeah, they oh, had okay. like likes maybe and I just comments I and stuff like was that. Was it on the left? No, it was like t- up towards the top. Oh, maybe I just didn't it see it. It yeah. Um, all That's right. probably good. I mean, clout over decks is silly. Wing Crafter, boom, in the CDH deckless database by Zero. Sorry, Zero, to call you out here. Tender Consultation <laughs> is playing Wing Crafter in Thrasios Timna. I fucking knew it. But right. my answer was still Yuriko because I knew that's where you got it from. Yes. yes. I also would have accepted Edric as well. Sure, yeah. But Edric too. you still get that point for Yuriko. I would not have accepted Thrasios Timna. <laughs> I would have docked you a point. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> no matter yeah. what, if you would have answered Thrasios Timna. I mean, I think the idea is it's just it's kind of like... What's the red card that produces fires and gives if you have lieutenant or whatever, if you have your commander See, out? See, why I like – this is not the first time on the podcast we've forgotten this card's name. <laughs> why I like Loyal Apprentice. Loyal Apprentice, yes. Why I like that card is because you get multiple flyers. It itself is a body that has haste. So it, it comes into play, and with your Timna in play, you have three creatures now instead of two. I know only one has flying – but the other one can make other flyers and isn't a shitty... It's close. Yeah. That's, it's closer than it seems. Windcrafter seems like dog shit, but if you're thinking of it like, okay, this is actually like two draws from Timna a turn. If you're in a clogged up meta, like it it can be one mana yes. to draw two cards a turn. But I think it's also going to put you in more situations where you're like willing to risk Timna in combat against like a ranger captain in play. And then they do something to mess with your soul bonds. Because I'm pretty mm, sure if you get yeah. rid of the ring craft, the... I'm pretty sure if you get rid of the wing crafter, there's a lot of weird W's and R's in that sentence. I'm pretty sure if you get rid of the wing crafter, there's a lot of weird R's in that sentence. Yes. See, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. You're a, you sh- you should go on like a a rap. So <laughs> a rap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're like beans. So I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Who's beans? You, uh, you should go on a rap like beans. Oh, beans like, go okay, on a rap. Like a <laughs> Can we move on from this wing is- crafter? <laughs> I was trying to say you could like attack with your Timna and then they get rid of the wing crafter and then now they have the opportunity to block your Timna. Kind of two for one you. I'd much rather have the loyal apprentice I think in every scenario but you got yeah. the point. So we're going to move on. Excellent. Let's yes. do it. All right. Uh, the next card is Oblivion Crown. I think this might be get a monster. easy one. Yep. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you can say what yep. it does if you want. but So it's one in a black for a flash aura that says enchant a creature and enchant a creature has discard a card yada yada yada. It just says enchant creature Gitrog's discarded card, so you give it to your Gitrog monster, and now Gitrog doesn't need uh, another discard outlet, because dis- Gitrog is a discard outlet. Instant speed. This one's good. In my opinion, this one might be... I mean, it's the most difficult to tutor for in that deck, yes. because a lot of your tutors are creature tutors, but... It's instant speed. It's it's like I think the best I, one. I still think Putrid Imp's the best because of how yeah, it's, one mana. it's technically cheaper and it's a lot easier to get with the tutors. But the second one that I want is the Oblivion Crown. I thought about putting like the the snake that discards cards or something yeah. on here, but I figured anything that says discard a card on it, you knew. It was I know it's getting rocked. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there you go. So now you have three. We're gonna move on. This one has two answers. I'll take. Okay. Stasis. 
This is an iconic magic card. It's one in a yeah. blue for an enchantment. Players skip their untapped steps. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice stasis unless you play blue. Uh, what is Yorn? That is correct. Yeah! That is correct. Got yes, it. Yorn. I also would have accepted Derevi, Imperial Tactician oh, sure. as yeah, well. Yeah, I kind of forgot about Derevi. The OG stasis deck. But out of those two, they're really the only decks that can leverage untapping so that you can have blue mana for stasis. Yeah, I haven't played against stasis in a long time. I feel like this strategy of hard stacks has been pushed to the wayside in favor of things like Winota, which is probably for the best. Um, but yeah, I, I completely forgot about stasis for a second there. All right, the next one... I will also accept two answers Great. for, okay. but it's it's a little bit more niche, I would mm. say. Enthusiastic Mechanaut. Ooh. This is a blue and a red for a 2-2 two -two artifact creature goblin artificer. And it has makes flying. Makes everything cost one less? Uh, no, it makes artifacts cost one less. Not everything. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Does Elsha play this? I always said that I think Elsha should, but I remember some comments saying that, no, Elsha doesn't need another copy of this. Um, Joyra. Joyra. Does Joy, Joy plays all eggs anyway? So you got both of the decks that I would have accepted nice. right there. All right. <laughs> this one is in Joyra. I think okay. 100% of Joyra decks would play this card. Confirmed be, you looked at. Uh, well, at least on the database okay. on the deck <laughs> list that I looked at. They're playing this card. I think it makes a lot more sense in that deck. You know, you don't have access to white, so you have a little bit more room for a couple more things of this nature. Plus, your commander doesn't just combo with this. I, I feel like Elsha, you want this card. I don't know. I think so too, but I, is is it in the Elsha lists? I didn't look at the Elsha list. I remember a couple pushback people saying that you don't need an extra copy. I always think if you can have multiple copies of an effect, it's just like better to do that so you can like you have a better chance of naturally drawing it than half to tutoring for it every time. If I already want one of the effect, why wouldn't I want the second one of especially the Especially if it's effect. the same amount of mana. I know it's harder to cast, but it still seems... I don't know. If I was playing Elsha, I would I would be playing multiple copies of two mana artifacts cost one less effect in my deck for sure. Yeah, I don't think yeah, Elsha's not playing any of that effect on creatures. Hey, Elsha pilots, I've never played the deck, but you're wrong and I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> Just based off a of theory. Wow. All right, so now today we pissed off a Thrasios Tim the pilot yeah. and all of the Alsha pilots. Let's take this opportunity to apologize to the Tyam pilots for saying uh, Devoted Druid and what's it called? There's a combo in that deck. Every Tyam deck I've played against has that deck in it. So don't combo tell me in it. it's no, not I don't in think that, so. It's, not in, that the, it's not in the database. They have Devoted Druid in the deck, I think. They don't have... What's the one mana thing? The it, the swift reconfiguration. They don't have the swift reconfiguration. It does the combo doesn't work in that deck. It doesn't do anything. I've played against versions of Tyam that have it. Okay. So don't tell me that it's not <laughs> in the deck when I've played against it. All right. Not fair. everyone plays the same fucking ninety nine people. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Let's do this one. Expedite. So did I get that one right? Is that yes, the fifth you one did, I've yeah. done right? Okay. You're I said, at I said Joyra, and it definitely sees playing Joyra. Joyra, yeah. Joyra was really the main one I was looking for, and you did come up with Joyra yeah. before you locked in a final Although, answer. Although, so. honestly, I I could understand how it's a debatable in that deck because the deck already plays so many zero drops, but it also plays so many one drops it too, plays right? So, and it plays a couple two drops yeah. too. So, so it's still why good. not make those zero drops? I all feel the like time. that turns Joyra into like. Oh my god, I can do whatever the fuck I want now yeah. mode, which is where you want to be. It has, because I've played against that too, and that's <laughs> also scary. Let's so. move on to the next one. The sixth one. I'm so far five for five. Expedite is the next one. I also have two decks I would choose for this one, but one sees a lot more play than the other right now. Can I guess what this is? Yes, you may. Is this one red, give something, haste, draw a card? That is exactly what it is. Is it a sorcery or an instant or a creature or an artifact? I think or it's a sorcery. It's an instant, Ooh, actually. instant. Yeah. Better than I thought. Yeah. Expedite. What sees play? What needs haste right away? Is it the new Atali? Let me think. Hold on. I don't want to look yeah, at your yeah, face. Think, think a second. Think what a second. needs haste? That doesn't get it from some other better way. There's a... Hold on. Bergy. Uh, I think it's Bergy. Final answer, Bergy. Final answer, Bergy. Yeah. Bergy is the correct answer. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. haste isn't even the thing. It's just a one mana red card. The that draws second a card. you moved off of the haste, yeah. you knew exactly where this card had yeah. to go. It's just it's just for one red, draw a card. It's a free That's cantrip right. in free Bergy. Cantrip, yeah. yeah. Urbrask also likes oh, this. Sure. So I would have accepted Urbrask as yeah. well. Um, but outside of these two decks, there's really not much that's looking for something like this. You know what? Zada Hedron Grinder that is count. in the outdated <laughs> section of is the it? database. So sure. also okay. would work there it's actually busted in that deck honestly that's the type of card that 
I love one mana instant or sorcery that draws a card and like does some other minute amount of value. That's such a fun thing to do. And CDH has so few of those. We already both most of us stopped playing Ponder and Preordain already, which are like super cool cards. Be, uh, by the way, modern Preordain is in modern. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm excited for that. But Cantrips are sweet. Decks that get to play Cantrips are also sweet. Expedite's fucking sweet. Yeah, I'm ready for no one to play Preordain because Consider's technically just better. No. You see more cards, more cards. with Preordain, but the ability to put it in the graveyard is going to be so much more appealing to most decks that aren't control decks, I think. I think Preordain... How's wow, it look? we fucked it up. No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, I think it was a little bit, but I don't know. Shit. I think wow. I have a shadow. I didn't realize I got rid of your shadow, but I think, did I give myself a shadow? Whatever. I think Preordain is uh, still better than that other card that you said. Oh, I consider. think generally it's better, but I think people will be wrong and play Consider more. I think that. Oh, yes, definitely. I think people will play Consider more. I think like Murktide, I think you just take out. I know like you think you want the instant in there, but pre like the more cards is just so good. Doesn't Murktide one... I don't play Murktide. Murktide wants instant or sorceries. Yes, I would play both. I feel like if I'm you in probably, an instant yeah. tempo deck... You might want to play both. I would love to play four of both. Either way, let's get off the subject. Cantrips are sweet. We're not, we're not a modern podcast. No, we're not. Here's another easy one. Great, give it to me. Sheltering Ancient. Say that word again? Sheltering Ancient. Sheltering Ancient. What is this card? I don't know. This is one in a green for a 5-5. Five five. Oh, uh, should, I, okay. should I continue? There's a cumulative <laughs> upkeep <laughs> yeah. on here. Um, it has trample... It is Silvala. For some reason correct. in my head, Silvala and Yisan are the same until I have to say them. So I have to think about which one it is before. Otherwise, while they exist in my head, they're the same entity. And then I when, I, when I speak, I have to say. So it takes me a second to remember, but it's definitely Silvala that this is for sure. <laughs> yes, this is definitely Silvala, the one that cares about power and toughness. Yes. Yeah. I, again, this was another deck that I feel like I could have put a couple of different cards down yeah. from Golta and shit like that. But... Um, I figured this was a nice kind of funny one that does the job. Yeah, this is a cool deck. I wish it saw a little bit more play. It feels like it's been pushed out a little bit recently because it has to, you have to have a couple pieces going. You know what I mean? You have to chain a couple things together uh, and that can be tricky to do, but the deck is still like very powerful. I think it gets a little bit like underrated almost. When I see, when I play against a deck, I'm still, this deck could win on turn two or three pretty easily. Like I think it's still important to remember the deck is uh, is very strong, especially in the right pilot. I think that deck is one that favors having a, a well-versed pilot more than a lot of other decks yeah i definitely agree all right our next one we're gonna get we're gonna get even more niche here let's do it i'm ready aquatex will Aqu i don't know if are I'm you saying, saying aquatex or architects no it's definitely not arca because it's a q u i t oh that's aquatex. i don't yeah. pronounce things right but i know i'm not that bad okay this is an aqua it's an aqua architect i understand the aquatect it's like the mechanaut that we just talked about right no i get it bullshit made up word <laughs> okay if you looked up aquatect in the do you oh wait you said you got it no i understand oh yeah. okay, I'll move on. <laughs> okay so this is one blue mana for a merfolk sorcery it says put a flood counter on target island or var <laughs> will you let me finish reading these fucking cards <laughs> It's a blue thing that targets something. <laughs> so. Exactly what it is. On target land. It's exactly what you want to be doing in it's Orvar. Great. Making yeah. copies of your islands 100%. and ramping that way. Yeah, this is great in Orvar. Terrible in any other deck. This is a perfect example of the shit we were talking about in the beginning. We're like, this card is a stinker. Real yes. PU. This not is a good. really bad card. You don't even know what it does. I don't, it doesn't <laughs> mean, yeah, yeah, what does it do, actually? Read it off for me. That land is an island in addition to its other types as long as there's a flood counter on it. If you control a merfolk, draw a card. And in, in Orvar, it's like, well, no fucking shit. It's a it's an island. You just made a copy of an right, island. Yeah, okay. yeah. And it also cantrips in Orvar because Orvar is a shapeshifter and has changeling. Changeling, right? yeah. Okay. Ch -ch 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 changeling. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna count that one too. I guess another win for me, baby. That is another win. You are doing really well. I know cards. What about Cut your losses. Do you know what deck this would show up in? No, I don't. Give it to me. What's it do? This is four and two blue. Four and two blue. This is six mana. Okay. For a sorcery with casualty two. Do you remember what casualty does? You can like make a copy of it if you sacrifice a creature with power of two or two creatures. Power or two or greater. Yes. Then you can copy it. Okay. What does it do? Target player mills half their library rounded down. Oh, um... Grawlnock. Is yes, it Grawlnock? That yeah. is it, yes. <laughs> With Grawlnock out, this is draw half your deck. This is appear into the abyss. This is actually draw 75% of your deck if you have nice. a creature to sacrifice because nice. you make the copy. Yeah. So you mill half of your library, then you mill the other half. That's why it's 75% of your library. I love it. Yeah, this card is awesome in that one specific deck. Uh, using it as a way to mill players out, 
Don't do that. That's not good. That this one is for you. This one, you mill yourself with this That's one. That's true. You could mill an opponent <laughs> no. seventy five percent of cards. Don't and do then that. Ad nauseum is really bad. That's not good. We're, we'll. That's not good. You you may say to yourself, but it's almost all their deck. Ha ha. Almost. Not all of it. So definitely do yourself because when you do yourself and specifically in Grawlnock, you can cast seventy five cards. I accidentally closed that of Scryfall. Oh fuck! You whole fuck the whole thing up. All right. So I have one more one that I think you'll know the answer to, and then the, the other ones are getting into some pretty interesting territory. Then we get into territory. the sauce yeah. territory. Okay. So this is our first legendary creature. Ooh, and this goes in a deck. It's not a commander. This goes in okay. a deck. This is not a commander. No, this is Jaxus, the troublemaker. Mm. This is you may we are willing you may we're more than welcome to read it, but I will just write down the this. Go ahead. I remember you casting the spell, <laughs> so I knew this one would be tough. It sucks that you've played a lot of these decks that have like bad cards in them. I played so. almost every deck like one time. Yeah, I know. So this you much know that every day. Oh, this this card was in your hand at one point, so I know you <laughs> yeah. know it. It's three and a red for a two three human warrior legendary creature. It says red and tap it and discard a card. Create a token that's a copy of another target creature you control. It gains haste and when this creature dies, draw a card. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only as a sorcery. And this also has blitz for one in a red too this goes in goto this does goto in goto nice yeah, it makes a copy of goto you get an extra trigger you can get the hammer yeah of nizan so that when you get the helm of obedience yeah these are the names of these cards you're doing great they'll both enter and attach right to goto and you can win the game from there yeah this is technically just three mana because you can blitz jaxus and then have the other red right away to be able to discard the card so and you'll make two godos legendary rule you have sack one but who cares you'll sack the, the token one or whatever and you'll just get the etb effect still which is great um this card is awesome in goto it's made for goto doesn't do a whole lot else in other decks although this is probably like an awesome fun casual card in a lot of decks but for cdh we're only using this for Godo, for sure. Our next one is Emerald Charm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is a green. It's an instant. It says choose one. You can either untap target permanent. That one. Destroy. <laughs> That's the one you're choosing. Okay. <laughs> you can either do that. You can destroy target non-aura enchantment. I think the original text was world enchantment. <laughs> But it's probably Oracle Actually, to that now. Actually, it's one target global enchantment. Global, that's what it is. Sorry, yeah. global enchantment. <laughs> or target creature loses flying until end of turn. This sees play in Cody. This does <laughs> see play in Cody, Allows yes. you to untap Cody so you can tap Cody again, make some more colors of mana and whatnot. Uh, it's also an instant that you can cascade into Profane Tutor. Not really, but, you know, it's, it is. I mean, it is. That yeah. is what it does. Right. Yeah. It, it doesn't, Cody doesn't say the word cascade because it's specifically an instant or sorcery that costs less, which is great for Cody because you can play mana cards in your deck but annoying because just like fucking be cascade but yeah it's i think it's although i think a, a, i saw some cody decks taking this card out eventually i think it's a perfect include in cody it, it kind of is the perfect include in cody but cody's kind of one of those decks that as it gets more one mana options yeah this card is going to be outclassed because all it does is untap cody and let you cascade but there's going to be other one mana things that we'll get that will let you untap cody twice and let you cascade Really? Well, down the line when power creep keeps coming, oh, sure. you know. <laughs> Later there will be a card yeah. better than this, so let's take it out now. <laughs> we get a lot of assumptions, yeah. but I think because kind of what this does is this for one green allows you to untap your Cody, right? Yeah. Um, but if you instead wait once you have one more mana, uh, and then just cast any instant or sorcery that maybe one that does something, it'll also give you the same effect for Cody. This basically just like saves you on one mana, I think, because um, you get to make back the mana that you spent to cast on it. Um, but and let's, it doesn't let's, do anything else. Let's not throw away the text destroy target non aura enchantment because it, that does get underworld breach and you can hit underworld breach with that and stop combos is so that, it does do that right is that what the oracle text is target non aura enchantment okay so it kills rhystic study it kills mystic more it does do other stuff too yeah, yeah exactly good. so there's definitely some utility um i don't think it's the worst card in the deck i'm getting sweaty let's move on to number 12 Alrighty. so the next one is mask of immolation this is one in red for an artifact equipment when mask of immolation enters the battlefield create a one one red elemental creature token then attach this mask to it equip creature has sacrificed this creature it deals one damage to any target and you can equip this to something for two mana i'm sorry what what is this card yep. it's an equipment that makes a one one when it etbs how much what color creature it's one in a red and the equip creature has sacrificed this creature it deals one damage to any target what the fuck 
It's an equipment. It's an equipment. That has effectively living weapon, kind of. It effectively has living weapon. But yes. for a one one instead it's of a germ. It's basically a red mortar pod. Think of it that way. I truly have no idea. Nothing's coming to mind. Um Oh, Obnixilis? Is it the new Obnixilis? Is it the new Obnixilis? That's my answer. I truly don't know, but I'm, that's what I'm going to guess. That deck's nowhere near the database, so I don't okay. even look at that. <laughs> it seems like it would do, like, it does something in Obnixilis. I don't know if it's any good in Obnixilis, but it does one damage, which is what Ob does. Well, all right. First Google search of Obnixilis, Captive Kingpin, does not have this card in its main deck. Okay. So I think this card, in theory, could go in that deck. It's but not that's not what, that's not what we're thinking about. I that's got it wrong. Not what, I was, what, what do you got? This card actually sees play in a CEDH deck and is actually part of combo lines in Cole the Forge Master. Oh, shit. Of the course. The Equipment yes. Commander. Yes, okay. Yeah. Def- okay, 100%. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. So going to the primer, I'm trying to pull up some of the combos here. So with Cole... Dockside and Blank Goblin and the Mortar Pod or Mask of Immolation, you'll be able to go infinite from there. Great, um, with four cards. <laughs> oh, no, it's Dockside or the Blank Goblin. So it's a three-card combo. With your commander. With your commander, yeah. Commander and then two, Very good and efficient. two cards. Yeah, exactly. So that's where this Mask Great. of Immolation is Fun. play. I never heard of that card. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. I'm glad I got one. Go, on go you. on. Yeah. I I knew you would do very well on this, but I'm glad I got one. All right. I'm gonna do this one. Realm Seeker. Realm Seeker. Uh, do you is this know a new what card? This card is? No. Why is this card? This is four and two green for a creature elf scout. It is a zero zero. It says Realm Seeker enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the total number of cards in all players' hands. And for two and a green, you can remove a plus one plus one counter from it. The search your library for a land card, reveal it, and put it in your hand, and then shuffle. I don't know what this is either. This is four and a two green. This is a six mana. And it comes in with scout. plus one, plus one counters equal to the amount of cards in all opponents' hands. In all players' hands. And for some amount so of mana, too. you can reduce, you can remove a counter from it and go search for land to put into play. Uh, land and put it into your hand. Put it into your hand for some amount of mana. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, this is such a weird card. And even the first time that I... It gets saw counters. This deck and Hamza I saw isn't what a CDH deck. Why would it want this anyway? Is it? C- is it? Is it? It's six mana. It's six mana. Yeah. Savala doesn't want it for being a big thing. Do you want a clue? Here, I'll give you a 50 because we've been talking about whose line uh, or who wants to be a millionaire this whole time. I'll give you fifty fifty. Sure, Don't I'll focus so in. much on the plus one plus one counterpart. It's the activated ability it's to search for land to put ability. in your hand. Yeah. That's the part that Search is your library more for relevant any land? That any land And card. put it into your hand. And put it into your hand, then shuffle. Is this Sakashima Kadama? <laughs> this is Sakashima Kadama. <laughs> <laughs> The first time I proxied this deck, I saw what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? What are we doing here? I'm already never getting ten mana to have Sakashima and Kadama in play yeah. at the same time. I'm or I'm not getting nine mana to get Realm Seeker and activate it. That's so funny. Yeah, I had no idea. That's yeah. That deck is a wild one. It can definitely play a lot, make a lot of mana. But this card seems too that much. That deck's trash. Yeah. I don't know how people <laughs> win games with that deck. And you have the option to play commanders that will win with three mana or win with ten mana. I don't know why you choose 10 but it's so funny that that deck is one of those decks that play bad cards deck to me yeah big time like there's just so many weird old land cards that do go really well in that deck but then like you look at it and you look at an opening hand and you're like how am i supposed to play magic with this yeah yeah that one's weird because it, it just it's too powerful to exist in casual right like you can't make that deck weak enough for casual i don't right, think in yeah. casual it's busted for sure but in cdh to me that's just too much mana all right i have two more that we're gonna do here okay so i got uh, that one does that one count because i got it half you point. got that a half. 50 50 we'll give you a half point there yeah, yeah it wouldn't there. be a play to win video if we didn't e- if we ended <laughs> on a whole number so yeah. flesh writher is our next card here flesh writher flesh writher yes this is two and two black for a three three two and two black four three three yes it has transfigure for one and two black. That's what it does. Yep. And there's <laughs> no other text on it besides the reminder text. Is that true? It doesn't have any text? 100%. Yeah. It goes in Kirk. Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it goes does. in Kirk. Do you know um, what it gets in Kirk? 
It's four mana? Yeah. It gets. Uh, I think there are some options. I'm pretty sure the main one is Necroticus. Well, that one you want in your graveyard. So if you ever wait to get rid of Necroticus, I guess you discard, in your graveyard, yeah. Is that's there great. another. I guess no, you do that want that one in play. I don't you, remember. You do want that one in play. Yeah, you can go get that. I think there's a couple different options. I think Shieldred is also good in Kurik that's because also if true. you're playing Phyllis, which you are. Um, so I think there's a couple options, but my brain would go to this would help you set up your necrotic ooze, necrotic ooze lines. This, in Kirk, this is a two mana demonic tutor that's uncounterable, effectively. Yeah, exactly. It's a three mana demonic tutor that's uncounterable because all transmute costs are three mana. Yeah, but it's it's black black. What it's black black one. Oh yeah, you're so right. So it's it's, yeah. it's even Chris, better. It's it's a one mana it's a one tutor mana one. Yeah. in Kirk. One mana uncounterable tutor. They dismember mana, and then yeah. all of a sudden you get a yeah. four any four drop in your hand, which there are several. In it that is deck. hilarious that that deck has so many fucking four drops. So many so, and so many incredible uncounterable tutors because of Transfigure. No, what's that mechanic called? Transfigure. Transfigure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh shit! But, it's not. I'm thinking of like it's the muddle the mixture effect. It's not that. It's significantly worse. For transfigure, you have to sacrifice the creature. Oh, it's part of the thing. It has the weird. Sh it's the one with the weird border on the side. Yes, but the creature goes into play. Oh, so it's definitely Necroticus then. You it's sacrifice this creature. Necroticus. You pay four mana for this, and then you pay one mana and two black, so one mana to sacrifice this to get a four drop into play. I was thinking that like. This isn't the same effect. Yeah, what is what does the other one have? Transmute. Transmute, and this is, is transfigure. That what it is? I think so. Yeah, model. I think you're right. There's someone at home screaming at the screen. You fucking idiots! Yeah. That's not what it does. Transmute and transfigure. Transfigure is definitely something that they did to be like. It was a future like site mechanic. Transmute. Yeah. I think it was a future site mechanic. I'm pretty sure it's like the only one that has that, right? Well, probably. Am I talking to my ass? Right now, I'm pretty sure that that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I since we said it on the internet, it is correct. Yes, exactly. All right, we have one more. You want to do it? Give it to me. Wait, did I get that one right? I did. You did. Yeah. I think I wrote it down. 12, 13, 14 I have so far. And you said 15. Okay, last one. Null brooch. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, null brooch. B R O O C H. Is, is that, that brooch or is that brooch? B R O O C H? I feel like brooch is B R O A C H. Or you. This is brooch. That's brooch. No, no, this is. This is brooch. B O like book. Is this a little jewelry like a brooch? Sure. Okay. What yeah. does it do? <laughs> so it's four mana for an artifact. Color all colors. All colorless, yeah. And for two generic mana, you can tap it and discard your hand to counter target nine creature spell. Play this ability as an interrupt. We starting and end it on Anya? Uh that would be pretty funny. No, yeah. So it's four mana, two mana to tap it, discard your hand, counter target non creature spell. Discard stinker. Let me think. Fuck. Um discard your hand. But I, I oh, did wait. find this in a deck on, on the, the C E D H database. The main part of it. Today. Yes. It's it was there. It's a four at mana the artifact. Date. Yes. You may discard. All of your cards in your hand. Much like Lion's Eye Diamond, yes. For two, And then for two mana, and you get to counter one non-creature spell for that rate. Correct, yeah. You get in a, you get in a gate. What? What's the worst deck on the database? <laughs> <laughs> because because <laughs> this deck, this card's in it, it's immediately <laughs> If the they worst. have to play this card, the deck is a stinker. Um, to be fair, I don't think they have to play this card. I think this why is are you playing technically it? <laughs> so this many is good ones. tech against something. Um, I had a different card for this deck, and then I saw this, and I went, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm going to, all right, so let me just give a guess. My guess is going to be. Technically, you have a phone a friend available. Can I ask we you, you don't repeat any commanders? Can I at least confirm that? I did not that, okay. repeat any commanders. I um, almost did, but I did not. There's no repeats. I have to I have to at least guess. You have to put a guess in, yeah. And it's not Gitrog or Anya who care about discarding stuff. Ooh, tricky. My brain's going, uh, what? <laughs> Let me give it a couple chin taps. Do you want another like 50-50? Can you tell me which part of it's the relevant part? Do you know? Is it the discarding your cards or is it the countering a non-creature? Technically, none of that. None of them have the to do with the commander. Part? Fuck, dude. Um, um it's all right. So it's like what's like um I feel like if I tell Heliod. you it might give it away a little too much. Heliod, the one that combos with Ballista. The one that combos uh, Heliod, Suncrowned. Sun Sun Crown. Yeah, okay. that's my guess. That's your know. final answer. That's my final answer. You are incorrect. All right. Sir. Yeah, what is it? You are close. You are in the mono white. Is it realm. Teshar? It is Oswald, Oswald Fiddlebender. Oh, because they can Oswald can tutor for it. <laughs> Oswald oh, can that's tutor rough. for it. Oswald can pitch <laughs> it to go to, to something else. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that makes sense in Oswald, honestly. I get it. it sure. makes sense. It's yeah, not it the sucks greatest. you got to play that card, though. I was right. That <laughs> sucks. I don't know if you need to play it, but like... It gives you a way to interact in mono yeah, white. It gives I, you a way to interact. Spells. Yeah, I don't mind it. A lot of time, Oswald is going to be hellbent pretty quick, I think. And Oswald, you don't need things in your hand to activate Oswald, so you can still be Oswalding for things as you're yeah. countering stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. So, it sucks, but it's not it's, bad. It sucks. Yeah, I <laughs> think right. you're right. It sucks, but it's not bad. Another goose egg. 12 and a half out of 15. Great. That's really good. That's really it. good. Wonderful. Tyler, what's the percentage? <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. I think it's 83 uh, repeating per cent. Dude, if, this be minus, was, I'll take if it. that was school, I would be so stoked. <laughs> Thrilled. Oh, thank God it's not a C. And that's it for Who Plays This Niche Card. Join us next week where we talk about something completely different. Thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon, like our $100 patrons. Soul Cal Acura, Stormageddon, Cool Bean Man, Luke Cook, AJ Alvosebi, Demon of Rosgris, Kawaja A. Hamid, Lauren Connell, and Baby G Bus. If you want to pick up any of our merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Huge shout out to Dragon Shield, the sponsor of the podcast and all of Play to Win. Please make sure you use our affiliate link to let them know we sent you there. You can follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching or listening. See you next time. Kadonis, Stashes, Mitchell Shepard, Justin, Mansell, Nicola Mara, Kovic, Steven, Shalikti, Big TP, 15, Pedro, Z, Jacob Tech, Michael, Baloo, Jan Wildfang, Thomas Bueno, Swampy McGee, David Nelson, and Jora Mags. Let me just get my pen. Whoops, not that pen. <laughs> All right, one.